we developed completely and finalized completely new lenses. Okay. They have wider horizontal as well as vertical field of view. All right. That's they great. have that's bigger right. sweet spot, okay. much bigger overlap, and much yeah. less distortion. Okay. Yes, I'm here with Marek from Extal. Good to see you again. Hey, Sebastian, yeah. how are you? <laughs> very good, very good. So, um, tell me, since our last interview, what has happened? Since that, like, first thing, we are finally showcasing some features, new okay. features new of features. the Extal, okay. but of the Extal. So the, the headset is more or less the same, but we are enabling new features. Okay. One of those is eye tracking. Okay. We have hardware inside which is capable to capture your eye. Before we were using it only to adjust the IPD. Exactly, uh, but when I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Zzz, 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 exactly. And, then, and then, then you were good to go. But now? But now we are building the software stack. So okay. we can provide you the pictures, we can provide you the, the coordinates when you've been looking at. And we hope to, to enable that for first foveated rendering, of course. Oh, yeah, of course, yes. That should also help with making it wireless afterwards. Okay. Uh, then with the with the analytics, so yeah. basically market research, and then also for disease like the reading disorders and so okay. on. Yes. So that's one thing. The I can other remember thing that you built the whole eye tracking yourself, the yeah, whole thing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Because you want to get all the data. That was yeah. the whole thing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I want to provide any the access. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything what yes. developer can need. Exactly. Because they can run their own software analyzing the eye or using those pictures for something else. And that's exactly. what I want to deliver, right? I can remember. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and now finally it is uh, enabled and um, you, um, you can open up all the data to the yeah, developers. Yeah, yeah. So right now we are we are in contact with few developers and if there are an, any more who wants this access, they are free to contact us and we will we will provide them the API and okay. SDK. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then another like small thing but useful is that we will be changing our top uh, knob or I don't know how to join. Let's say okay, join. Yeah. Because uh, it en en enables us to basically very fast exchange the headset from one head strap or helmet to another. Ah, okay. And that we is are for industry. Or for, for, for industry, mostly for simulations. Okay. Because like uh, ah, if you are yeah. if you are learning how to fly yeah. and you try, I can in remember our the offices, helmet. That was yeah, incredible. Yeah, yeah. You have different sizes of helmets, okay, and you right. don't want to buy like for every size one headset. Okay. So you just want to make it interchangeable. Yeah, and easy to clip on and clip off. Okay. That's that's the other thing. And the most important improvement right now, and that one is, is actually important for all new uh, users and all people who has pending orders of Extel, is that we developed completely and finalized completely new lenses. Okay. They have wider horizontal as well as vertical field of view. All right. That's they great. have that's bigger great. sweet spot, okay. much bigger overlap, and much less distortion. Okay, that's awesome. And yeah, it's so not not like we are not showcasing it of officially, but yeah, yeah to you and to few cool. friends. <laughs> that's nice. So oh, so actually, it, it, lots of things happened since last time yeah, I went yeah, to Prague. Yeah. So you've been like um, completely redesigning the lenses from scratch, or? Yeah, but we've been doing that for about a year. Okay, you, you are constantly working yeah, on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, like they should be. Uh, basically part of the Excel when we launched it uh, okay. three months ago. Right. But it took us a bit later. Yeah. Uh, it's so always like this in hardware, right? Yeah. Hardware but, but, is hard. <laughs> yeah. But when you when you know the roadmap, you are able to adjust for that. So basically the Excel is compatible with the previous lenses okay. as well as, as with the new lenses. Okay. But then you need some new software uh, uh, um, lens distortion profile. Yes. Yes. Whenever exactly. you okay. new, new lens distortion profile. Exactly. That's it. <laughs> That's cool. it. Yeah. Nice. Can I see it or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please do. Uh, in here we will have only the 360 okay, degree, that's fine. I don't. but hopefully you will see the difference. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I do think I do think there's more there's more field of view now. I can remember in last time I tried it out. <laughs> hands. <laughs> Oh, no. it's, it's changing the, the scenes, but you can yeah. change it by yourself. Okay. Yeah, I can remember last time I checked it out, um, the, the, the 
horizontal, no, no the vertical, vertical. Sort of thing. That was from I felt. Yes. yes. Right? I think for the horizontal it's, it's quite good, but yeah, it's better now. Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. Yeah, from, from the clarity point it's still it's still as clear as I remember it. There was a thing. There was a thing when I tried it out in uh, in Prague. The clarity was fantastic. Oh yeah. And it's still. So now, um, the big thing should be the depth feeling, to be honest. So now, if you, if you put more your now. hand in front of you, uh, like lo as close as, as the lip motion gets it, and you, you focus on the, on the fingers, you should feel basically the same stretch in your eyes as in re reality, when you will be focusing on something close. And the, the depth itself should be much more visible. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think I, I do believe it's it's a, it's an improvement. It's definitely an improvement compared to last time when I was in Prague. Yeah, but still the clarity. It's it's very nice now. You have a wider field of view now than before, but you still have the nice clarity that we talked about last time in yeah. our interview, right? The clarity that is for you the most important. The most important. That's true. Like all. Our customers are... They want the clarity, right? They, yeah, they, they are approaching us after they tried everything and they needed better visual quality, better, yeah. better clarity. <laughs> yeah, the clarity. That's definitely, that's still, that's still fantastic. And you did it, you really did improve the, the vertical. And, yes, yes. And also the horizontal field of view. It's definitely an improvement. So it was just the lenses or what who make this possible? Lenses and algorithms, yes. But you, you know how hard it is to, to improve like the or develop the distortion yeah, I know. algorithms I've for seen the new from, lenses. From, yeah, I know from the other company, from Saka. Yeah, <laughs> but, but we, we did quite a lot of work focusing on automation of that process. Oh really? How, how would that work? So, so right now it's, it's semi-automatic, so when we get the lenses we have like theoretical models as well as automatic process to remeasure them. And then we tune, tune it. Okay. So you still have some. Distortion. We still have some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hopefully much less. Then especially, before. especially yes. on, on the sides, like on on the extremes, it should be to the right, click the right one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And hold, hold for when it's red. Just put your finger and stay when it's red, and it will change. Yeah. That one is not that much interesting, it's just garage. But the last one is the, the nice video of the one. Like that. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I agree with you. It's it's more there's more feeling of death. Now I remember that. I, it did feel a bit like um, like 2D last time. More flat, yes. Yeah, it did feel like more flat, like that I'm watching a, like a like a nice uh, video screen or so. But now it is it is better now. Wow, it's, it's interesting what what differences those lenses can make, right? Yes, but that's why we invested so much time into developing them. Right. Wow. So okay. So. That is Marek from X from the VR engineers with with the updated X tile. Now it has um, the the eye tracking um, activated. Now it has new lenses with less distortion and more FOV. And well, I've seen the old version in Prague, and I can yeah I can uh, confirm it's much better than better now. Wonderful. Cool. So every time I meet you guys, you're bringing the the better the, the, the next better headset. It's cool. We are trying, and we are we are always writing down all notes you are providing us which yeah, is great okay, it's, it's important yeah of course you need to get the feedback yes so definitely let me know uh, yeah when you want us over then we're gonna come over wonderful i'm looking forward thank you sebastian all right